Hello, good morning to all my viewers out there. Good afternoon to all my viewers out there. Good evening to all my viewers out there. Why I always use these three men uh, greeting time is because uh, many people are listening to me, uh, to my channels, to my content all over the world. Like uh, people that are from uh, New Zealand, by this time now, they are being in the afternoon or even towards the evening. The same thing with Australia. We have US who are sleeping by this time and also most of the uh, Europe countries who are waking up. So that is why I always make it this way so that people uh, or anyone will not feel cheated that uh, I am greet greeting some part of uh, the country and forgetting another. So that is how it is. So my good people, I welcome to us all to this uh, new week, new Monday, new blessing, new breakthrough, new challenges as well. Because uh, uh, when uh, you are climbing to new level, be ready for the uh, challenge ahead. Because every level in life that you are varying for, that is a sacrifice and also a challenge to face while you are varying for that very position. Uh, that is what I learned from one of my pastors then when I was going to church. Or when i used to go to church so in other words are you prepared for the challenges i heard in this week as you are praying uh, praying for blessings or you are pray, uh, praying for advantages always remember that uh, in every advantage there must be a disadvantage that follows it in every blessings there is also a challenges that follows it in every uh, uh, level you find yourself today, be ready to attend or to uh, sustain the challenges also that follows it. Well, uh, let us uh, begin because I want us to do a kind of uh, an analyze on what we are facing today as a country, as a, a region, or also, uh, also as a family. So, but uh, let me not go to, into the family or country, but let's, uh, let us face this uh, region of 18 which is uh, the eastern part of the country, Biafra, where we all came from. I mean, I'm talking to the Igbos, the ones uh, who are fighting or who are agitating for a, a well-refined or signed referendum from the international communities. But there's a question we need to ask ourselves. That is why sometimes when uh, I engage myself in this argument, sometimes with my people, with my pubs, with uh, uh, friends, uh, we argue, oh, the international community is going to give us Biafra, they are going to do like this, they are going to do like that. Well, there's no doubt about it. Uh -huh. Nobody, uh, your opinion is well respected in anything, and your idea is also a welcomed one. But uh, one thing you must understand is this, that the international community you are looking on to, to give us uh, the, the Biafra that we all have a variant for all, to to speak on behalf of the Biafrans, or also on behalf of Mazi Namdekano, who have been in incarceration for over a year plus now, whereby the international community have not done anything concerning it. Not that they don't know what to do, not that they, they cannot speak to the government of the day to release Mazi Namdekano, but truth still remains that the unrest we are having today in Nigeria as a country, in Biafra as a region, uh, is caused by these same people we are, we are looking on to uh, for freedom. In other words, if they see anyhow they will do to make sure that uh, this our struggle does not get hurt, they will do it because it is to their own advantage. Just uh, take a, an example in the in the north east, Abi. Yeah, north east. I mean, I'm talking about a Bruno. Nobody will believe. Or even me and you, when I have not uh, gotten any idea, I will keep on telling you, oh, the insecurity in Bruno is too high. There's a lot of bombing, Boko Haram, Sambisa Forest. Without knowing to, uh, truly the content, I mean, what uh, uh, what is happening in that very uh, Sambisa Forest that we, are, we all are talking about. Let me educate you in case you have no any idea of what is happening. Or why is it that uh, it's only in a... Uh, in uh, Sambisa forest, we have uh, different types of, uh, I mean, different sects. They, are, they call them sect. We have Boko Haram in Sambisa forest. We have Ishwab, and we have another, uh, uh, whether Ambazonia or whatever. I mean, they have different 
groups, organizations that are operating in that very Sambisa forest. Well, according to the, the findings, the Sambisa forest alone occupies how many thousands square uh, squares of land. I mean, that place is a that place alone uh, can give Nigeria everything they want if they don't want to depend on oil. Why am I saying this? If you are hearing about uranium, uranium is uh, is a mineral resources that the Westerners needed from our land. Despite the fact that they have been siphoning our crude oil in one way or the other, go and uh, google the meaning of uranium or what is being used for. This uranium have been digging from our land since 19, uh, uh, 1972 till death. And who are those ones behind it? The international communities, the likes of uh, uh, China, in short, it, it, not to mention but a few, a lot of West, Westerners. And those people are the ones who are supposed to intervene. To make sure that uh, Nigeria have been uh, have to be a peaceful nation, but let me educate you once again for you to know that these people, uh, they are the one that are instigating all this unrest. They are the one that is sponsoring the insecurity in our land. Do you believe that a single sand? I mean, Ajopa, we call it Ajopa. This uh, 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 either Moody, Moody sand or whatever it's been called. In Zamfara State, that that Chinese have been digging that 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 thing is a very very high mineral resources, exporting it. When you ask them, they will tell you no. They have been exporting it. They will turn it to fertilizer and also export it back to Nigeria and sell it to us, our own land. So if that is what they are using it, Chinese is very very good in building uh, factories anywhere they go, no matter how remote that village is. Chinese must build a factory there simply because they are looking for cheap labor where they can get it very cheap. Yes, you'll be working for them collecting peanuts while they are making billions of nairas and dollars and pounds from what you are manufacturing in that very remote village. So if that is exactly why they are digging those stands back to their country from how many thousand miles from sea to export it, they, then they will use it for fertilizer and brought it back to our nation. Is that not, is that not our mumu? Then why can't, they, why can't our government tell them, okay, since that factory you are having there, let us collaborate with you people, build that factory here, and let that percentage be 50-50. At least this land is coming from us. Or let's say the government takes 60%. Why? The, 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 the owner of the factory or companies that will be in charge of that be taking 40% in Nigeria. Rather, they choose not to show us what they are doing with those sands. That is our mineral resources. And that is why they keep on trooping in Zamfara. Despite the fact our people are fearing to go to Zamfara and Bronu. But do you know how number, how many number of, of uh, NGOs we have in Bronu State? Those people, no one touched them. Then in other words, I begin to question myself. Does it mean that these people are not afraid of the insurgents? But that are the same people. Right there in Abuja, when uh, the, the, the UK embassy and United States uh, for America embassy are given Nigeria the security in, in, intel that uh, there will be, uh, what do they call it, there will be a ter terrorist attack or an attack on the federal capital territory, Abuja. They, they started to evacuate their citizens. But those same people, those same foreigners, those same Westerners who are doing all those things, have a, a what do they call it a non-governmental organization all in Bruno State. What are they doing there? The record have it that uh, if you go to Bruno State you now, even as an indigenous, you will not find any house to rent there. The foreigners have already occupied all those places. Signing contract ranging from 18, 20, 25 to 30 good years. In a state where they tell you that insecurity is too high. In a state where they tell you that uh, nothing is working there. In a state where they tell you that people barely sleep. Then we have multiple NGOs from international community. What are they doing there? And what are those NGOs for? And what are they doing? I mean, I mean, what what uh, is the people of Bruno benefiting from them? For you to know that the insecurity is to some Westerners or the Westerners' advantage. Because... They know what they are gaining from insecurity in Nigeria. So this is the same people you will still believe 
that they will bring uh, they will give you biafra they will give us biafra they will come to speak for the federal government to allow biafrans to go whereby the rise of african countries any african country any country that have mineral resources in africa any day they decide to rise and said enough is enough be, be believe it or leave it a lot of western countries will go bankrupt yes this is what we all need to be uh, 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 doing the research to know that people who you are depending on they don't even depend on you they already see you as a monkeys as a zoos they keep giving you eggs yes of course they keep giving you eggs but they build boundary for you to cross to their countries all these countries that are coming to your nigerians or african countries giving eggs opening and all these ones showing you that they care what do they care they are looking for your mineral resources they are looking for for how they will siphon what you have all in the name of giving you eggs but for you to go to their country it seems like going to heaven that is the same people who come and tell us that uh, we should forget and abandon our our uh, 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 our aged tradition and follow the white uh, god but look at them do you believe that a white man can truly show you a way to heaven somebody who can show you a way to heaven have built seas and barricades and a top high wall for you to cross into their own country imagine if that your country is heaven tell me how are you going to get in with all these people with all these uh, their restrictions here and there yet you believe they can show you the way to go to go to meet god if there is anything called heaven let me make it clear to to most of us here who still believe there is a heaven i know that i, I am not a, i am not against your opinion i am not against your belief but let me make it clear categorically according to the oibo people where they speak english if there's anything called heaven my dear a white man who be the barricade for you to cross to his country will never show you that that place yes now nah? now the same white people come and show us that uh, blacks are devils why they are white they are their image of god and yet you still believe that these people will show you where to heaven come off it my dear uh, the, the era has passed they have used that to deceive our forefathers our great grandparents up to today in the asia countries in benic uh, uh, kingdom they are still repatriating all the art craft they took for how many years or how many decades ago they are still repatriating it back to where it belongs because all those things that is a symbol of our culture most of them most of them is 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 even crying in a, in a island, island lands simply because there's nobody there to speak the language they understand or to appeal them or to appease them yet you still believe that this white man will send you to heaven which kind of heaven that they are preparing for you whereby they will not give you a visa to come to their own country just for you to come and walk you are not going there to ask them for food you are not going there to ask them that you may live there free of charge you'll be there you'll be there you'll be paying your taxes you will be working in their companies and even with their cheap labor that will give you as a foreigner even with your qualified and degrees most of our guys out there are watching in mutual are working in mortuaries yes out there even when their own country is better than the country where they are but simply because these people have already come and instigate hatred and division among the nigerians and their leaders how can you tell me that you are you care for the form poor masses in nigeria whereby every funds are being stolen or being looted from our own land is being deposited in one of their banks their best banks and they are using it to they they, they using it to do businesses and the, the, the interest are being used to develop their own country why our country keep dying and you tell me that they want the best for you and you tell me that they will they are so i see how they are jumping up now they are interested in nigerian uh, 2023 election and then they can they call they don't even uh, us have already placed a visa ban on anyone who is going to uh, uh, do one thing or one thing uh, about uh, rigging an election or whatever tell me in those banks all of them out there one of the presidential candidates here in nigeria their two daughters bought a, a house worth over a million dollars a million dollars in cash nobody questioned them yet you want to come to fight corruption in nigeria 
The only corruption you are fighting in Nigeria is for them to take the money and bring it out there to their own country so that you will have them, you will help them to secure it. And you are fighting corruption. China's will come and be giving us loans, giving loans to our leaders, even our governors, ministers, even what remains now is for our local government chairmen to go to China to collect loans, and they will outsource the loans to them. Encouraging corruption in our land, but in China or any Asia country, anyone that they caught uh, doing all this uh, corruption, they will they they will death with that person, and the and the, the punishment uh, is death. Yet they encourage uh, corruption in our own country. Our leaders, when will you people wake up from this? Uh, you people sleeping slumber. Enough of all this. Enough of all this borrowing, borrowing. And when you borrow it finish, you will still convert that money into your own looting and loot it back to there. Imagine the, the, the what is happening in our country now. Look at everywhere is is crying. The old and young, even animals are crying. Fuel scarcity and the, 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 the design of the Nara nodes. A very a very a lot of let, lessons are being learned, or we need to learn from this this particular incident that is happening in nigeria as of this present time everybody from from beginning of the uh, 2015 i mean uh, Bwama de, uh, Bwama de regime everybody was shouting change 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 fine and good we are looking for change but the change we got is never the change we all are vying for or we all uh, voted for in 2015. or from that 2015 everything for them that call APC, when you complain about their government, they will tell you what are you saying that the that the that the Buhari government have done more than enough in terms of insecurity, in terms of uh, 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 infrastructure, you know all sort of lies from their spokespersons, and we are watching them. We are just looking them. Just I know eleven, know eleven anya, you know, we just they dodge, they watch them, they peep them with one side of our eye, and said, okay, let us see where this thing will land us. Within the period of uh, October 15, when the federal government announced, Abi, no, through the month of uh, October, the federal government, uh, led by President Mahmoud Buhari, made this pronouncement through the um, uh, CBN governor, Godwin that there will be a redesign of Naira. If you have the old notes, begin to prepare on how to deposit that money into the bank so that you can get the new notes. Everybody seems like nothing is... Uh, uh, it doesn't bother them after all. No. They have been doing it before. And uh, what about this? After October, we enter November. Then the, it comes fuel scarcity. The fuel scarcity lingered from that very November until the festive period. We are by people who are supposed to travel. Most of them did not even travel. People who traveled, they thrive on a high side of it. I mean, when I talk about transportation, both uh, whether you are following by land or train. Even by water or air, everything have gone, everything have skyrocketed. The APC was there. They are not complaining. They don't even complain about how people who are supposed to go to visit their family after traveling just once a year. You will have to hustle from January until December when you will reunite with your families and share a very uh, good moment with them. January, February, everybody will be thinking of how to go back to their base. The APC was there. Nobody's coming in. Nobody's saying anything. When they complain about Naira, they did the design. Nobody, they didn't complain. But now that the, the CBN have made it, it is a mandatory that old Naira notes have to be wiped out. That the legal tender will never have uh, this thing. Uh, will never uh, have meaning again. Comes February 10th. Simply because they all have already dumped and stored Naira's with bullion vans and trailers. How they were going to buy the elections of 2023 and rig it. Thus, uh, under 24 hours, in this January we entered, everybody eyes open. When they make that pronouncement, there's no going back. 31st, they pressure the CBN and Mama de Buhari. They change it to uh, February 10th. The CSA say no, they have to make this thing so that after the election. My dear people, I want to advise us. I don't. I, I know this. Uh, what is happening in Nigeria now is a sponsor. It's a sponsor of people who are destroying uh, uh, government uh, properties, the uh, banks, and the rest of them burning uh, security government houses. 
they have been sponsored by this these same people yes i can tell you that and i can defend it at any time any day they have been sponsored by our politicians this is how they keep on uh, impoverishing the youth they will send them out there they will go there to perpetrate all manner of acts destroying government properties and burning of government facilities the why their bodies is inside home tomorrow that same government that send them or that same politician that send them will be the one to crucify them my question is youths of nigeria when are we going to learn when are we going to wake up from this sleeping slumber and know that the future of every nation lies in the hands of the youth not the old masses or not the old ones when are we going to know that this country is bleeding and needs you to wake up to their responsibilities to regain their country from where it, it is at this point in time but that same use have been the one being used to perpetrate all you know you're not asked burning of annex offices burning on banks even when it is their own to their own advantage to me i know that this is very hard but if you kill in in your hunger for the past eight years we are buying a rice i mean a bag of rice for eight thousand something nine thousand to ten thousand. okay let's say fifteen thousand or two thousand and fourteen before this president administration took over it's skyrocket skyrocketed to 45 to fifty thousand naira whereby their minimum wage is barely thirty three thousand naira what a world and what a country that want to grow this is how they keep on oppressing the poor and also the youth who are supposed to rise up tomorrow arise up tomorrow to protest and to fight against the government that didn't give them job that didn't give them hope that keep on uh, delaying them some 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 who supposed to graduate or some who are doing four years course most of them are finishing eight years nine years some who are doing six years course they will finish it at ten years what an irony of a country who never have any interest of the promises or use at heart Look at one of the presidential candidates again. I don't want to mention names so that people will not come to attack me. He said your eight years that if you if you study and they see your uh, eight years in school, you should call him whatever, whatever. I don't want to I don't want to use that word he used because that that is that is a an, an, an a, 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 it's a foul word. He said you should call him anything you like. That he, tell me which even if uh, people who are studying law. And the medicine, it ends between six or seven good years for you to be free. Then you tell me somebody who is going there for the degrees, either business management or whatever, whatever that ends in four years, must end in eight years. In other words, he's trying indirectly letting you know that the strike that you people will face when he take over the government, that you will even praise Mama de Buare that is a cent. Make on a use on a iruro, make on a use on a head, though. 20, 23 February is not a child's play. It is a time to exercise the right. If you are voting, do not vote ethnicity. Do not vote a tribal. Do not vote a religion. Vote competence. Vote, vote, vote from the state level to the federal level to the local level. Those ones whom you know that they have track record of accountability. Who can uh, surely come out tomorrow and tell you, yes, this is what I receive from the federal, from the state, for whatever, whatever, or from locality. And this is how it's being used. And this is the one that is remain for the post for the future generation. Nigeria is the only country where all the politicians gathered and begin to criticize one man, which is a P2B, who saved money in Anambra State and begin to criticize him. But others who siphoned those monies and looted them out of the country, store it in their different bank accounts both in their family and yet unborn all of them have that have, have bank accounts all the money will be stored there they will clap for them and praise them what an irony of a country who their only dreams is for the country to keep going backwards not forwardness during the regime of uh, president Olusegun Obasanjo, he paid nigeria debts and had money in the post when he's living with his vice despite the fact that their government cannot be considered the, the the best and neither can you consider their government the worst but at least they left something before they go 
Now we are having presidents who keep leaving uh, 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 deaths behind. Who keep uh, stubborn deaths like they are storing yam in their barns. Leaving it for the next administration. And when you enter there, you first of all have to deal with deaths. How, to, how you, can, you can manage to raise revenue to service the debt they left behind. Doing all these things, four years have gone. And you will come back again to the contest for another time to give you another four years for you to walk. And people will be out there shouting and criticizing you. What an irony. What do we have to learn from what is happening now? The APC government is leading this country. And they are the ones crying. They are even crying more than the bereaved. They are the ones that is the decision makers. They have 22 governors almost in the parliament, almost in the Senate. APC of, uh, 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 party occupies at least 85 to 90 percent of it. Yet, they are the ones out here crying simply because the, 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 the head of the party, which is uh, Muhammad Buhari, have said no to election rigging. No to buying of votes. No to bullion van on the eve of elections. That the election of this year is going to be free and fair. Despite the fact that people have criticized me that I have not done well in the area of insecurity, in the area of the economy, in the area of infrastructure, in the area of a flooding, in the area of a more displaced people in their own land, in the area of, a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a oil theft, I am going to live a free and fair election. Let it be legacy and be remembered for. All of them have taken to their heels. All of them have sworn that it must never happen. It is meeting up on meetings, trying to convince the president to do the one that will favor them, not the one that will favor the country. And we say no to that. President Muhammad Buhari, if this message can get to you, please disregard whatever president they give to you. Let the Nigerian government, I mean, let the Nigerian people, let them endure this hunger. Because any hunger that have faith, any hunger that have hope, never kills. The hunger that will kill you is the one that don't have hope. Whereby when you have been left stranded in the wilderness or in the forest, where you shout, nobody hears your voice. Out of hunger, that person will die there. But as long as you are still having, let us, let us resort to the olden days of trade by butter. If you have a yam and I need your rice, I give you your yam and give me your rice. Just for the meantime, how many days this election remains to go? I cannot see the reason why people who have been in suffering for the past eight years now decided to wake up just like uh, a tortoise who have been in dungeon for many years looking for the day that somebody will come and help him out from that very dungeon or that very hole. Only for the person that wants to come and rescue the tortoise, the tortoise begin to tell that this place is smelling, whereby he have been there for many years. That is what Nigerian youths are, are, just, are just showcasing now. They are just buy them over. Just with the 5,000 or 10,000 Naira, look at what they are doing to the Nigerian, uh, to, 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 to the, uh, 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 Nigerian assets. Government properties. Burning it, destroying ATM, destroying banks. All these people doing this thing now. If government decide to retaliate, what we fall back now is that the government uh, uh, are dealing with the poor. The government don't want the poor masses to be in the country. But they are the ones that call for it. My advice to the youth out there, Hold on to your faith. Don't let anybody deceive you. The government is doing anything just to make sure that it works for you. That you make sure that your vote counts coming 2023. Not you are going to a polling unit to vote. Somebody will have a mind. And you have somebody out there will have an envelope of 5000 10000 that are telling you to say your conscience. And you will do. That is what the government are trying to call. All this while, people have been suffering. People have been lamenting. Killings everywhere. All this APC governor that is gathering one way or the other now, making meetings, none of them have ever come and said, please, what are we going to do to better the poverty that is ravaging the youth? What are we going to do to make sure that the poor masses in their villages can at least go to their farms in peace and come back to their homes in peace? Nobody does that. Simply because this one now have already touched them. That is why every eye now have raised their eye eyeballs. And be crying like a child that just collected biscuit from. Go to the different platforms also of social media houses. You found out that Oshomele and the rest of them, Erufai, all of them are crying. 
that uh, the, 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 the government of MFLA is the one that is, uh, uh, is, uh, is doing all these things to the country. They are calling him, it's uh, trying to sabotage the, 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 the election. In what way is he sabotaging the election? That they try to cop vote buying and to make sure that things will fall in place after 25th of February 2023. All of them, they don't, they, they don't, they don't uh, 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 take, uh, they don't uh, chew their, 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 listen, their hairs and said it will never happen unless you have been allowed to buy votes so that they will remain in power and also continue to impoverish the poor. Youths, you people should wake up. Endure this hunger for this, how many days? But you endure hunger for eight years. You didn't complain. It's only a matter of uh, time. Days because it's it, it, it the, the clock is just keep ticking, it keep ticking, and you wake up now to start to destroy government uh, properties that a uh, lack of uh, fuel scarcity and this and that. Even people who don't even have anything to do with the fuel, all of them are on the street, they are being bought over protesting about the fuel. What an irony of life! My only advice to all the Nigerians, both old and young, both rich and poor. As long as you are not in, in government house, I know in one way or the other this this their policy affects. But what you have to do, hold on to your faith. Endure the hunger. Tomorrow is better. According to how we used to say in a in a Igbo adage, I in H D M the way my for yamo. And if I have to come with Chinese one come, that is why you people have to do what you people have to understand the government and see where this uh, night nice, uh, snake is putting head. I'm going to I want to be like let us not be like that thirties that have been in the dungeon for years, only for the uh, the thirty to start to cry that this place now is smelling too much. When he have already found a helper, and as he do this, may the Almighty to go kiabiama. Oya primi yenile, the God that answered by fire and the God that sees our heart and mind, may He grant you the 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 the, the, the strength to bear this hunger and to make sure that uh, you vote right wisely and also defend your vote because your vote counts in every time, every day. So do not allow yourself to be used to destroy government properties. When you are being caught, you will be the one, you'll be the one to spend even that money you, you claim not, you don't have. You spend it when you, uh, when you land yourself either in police cell or in prison. Yes, because these people who send you to go and do it, who have brought you over, they have given you money. So if anything happens to you on the process, they don't care. And the question here is this. All these people that are giving you peanuts to go and protest, is any of their, can you see any of their relatives? I don't mean their biological son. I mean their relatives come out there to protest. You can barely see even their third, fourth, fifth relatives. You can never see them because all of them have been settled. And they stay at home and allow you, the poor masses, to go out there and to risk your life because you are protesting for the for 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 the people who have kept you at home, who have no job for you, who have not even have any single plan for you in the future. Yet you are risking your life and your freedom for them, my people. Enough is enough. I'm talking to the youths. Youths, enough is enough. Enough of all this uh, violence. Enough of burning government properties. Enough of doing things that uh, that, uh, that that uh, that, uh, that, uh, that 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 is not good to hear. This election period, please, each and every one of us have to be wise in our approach. And as we do this, may the Almighty Chuko Kiabiama, Oye Primi Yenine, Oye Ne Dua Enije, Oye Ne Dua Enije Na Na, may Him see us through, prosper us, grant all our high desires, and make sure that whatever that we lay our hand to do. In this season, we prosper. Let us all endure the hunger. A certain time, says none, and the word is enough for the wise. That is all I have for my people this day. So have a nice week, and may this week bring us good blessings, tidings, and above all, make us to prosper in this land where God has want us to be. So have a nice day, and uh, this week shall surely be a week of blessings. A week of upliftment and a week of fulfillment of blessings in all ramifications. So, my dear people, I am signing out. I'll see you come again to give us 
the headlines of today because today we are going to do things different not like uh, normal me yes i want to do some things different so that uh, people will also know that uh, i can do this and i can do that you know later